On the night of November 5, 2024, Donald Trump was elected President of the United States, facing a series of critical challenges, the crisis at the Mexican border, the war between Israel and Gaza, and domestic economic issues. However, one of the most tense topics capturing global attention is the war in Ukraine. Trump, true to his direct and provocative style, has claimed he could resolve this conflict with a simple phone call to Putin or in just 24 hours. But is this truly possible or mere populist rhetoric? In this video, we will dive deep into this ambitious claim, analyzing Trump, Putin, and Zelensky, the formula to end the war in Ukraine. Everything you'll hear in this video is based on extensive research but remains speculative until concrete actions are taken. So take this information cautiously. The key to understanding how the war in Ukraine might end lies with three main players, Donald Trump, Vladimir Putin, and Volodymyr Zelensky. As the leader of the world's largest military and economic power and the primary supplier of arms to Ukraine, Donald Trump plays a decisive role. The United States has supported Ukraine even before Russia's invasion in February 2022, providing critical weapons and resources. However, this war has evolved into a brutal war of attrition. Since mid-2022, the war has been characterized by slow but significant Russian advances in eastern and southern Ukraine, consolidating territories while adopting a war of attrition strategy. This type of war, designed to exhaust the enemy's resources and strength, places Ukraine in an extremely challenging position, with over 12 kilometers of active fronts and high human and material costs. Trump, known as a skilled negotiator, might leverage his experience to push for an agreement between Russia and Ukraine. His strategy will likely also aim to address growing discontent in the United States over the $90 billion spent on this war. Many Americans see this figure as disproportionate, preferring it to be invested in domestic priorities. Is his plan feasible? In this video, we'll explore Trump's strategy regarding the war, how the United States could influence Russia and Ukraine, the role of Putin and Zelensky in this complex geopolitical landscape. Is it really possible to end this conflict with one phone call or within 24 hours, as Trump claims? peace, war, or ongoing attrition, all three possibilities are on the table. Join us as we explore the strategies, tensions, and potential solutions that could change the fate of Ukraine and the world. Trump's controversial plan for peace in Ukraine, a solution or a defeat? So far, the specific details of Donald Trump's plan to end the war in Ukraine have not been fully disclosed, a logical move from a tactical perspective. However, based on interviews with key figures such as Mike Pompeo, David Urban, and retired generals Keith Kellogg and Fred Flatt, a possible peace scenario Trump could propose has been outlined. This framework includes decisions that could radically alter the course of the conflict. Ukraine and Russia would need to negotiate under the threat of consequences. Ukraine would lose all military aid if it refuses. Russia would face unlimited arms supplies to Ukraine if it does not cooperate. A ceasefire along the combat line would be implemented as an initial step toward negotiations, accompanied by a possible pause in arms shipments to Ukraine as a goodwill gesture toward Russia. The front line would be frozen, and a 1,287-kilometer demilitarized zone would be established, similar to the one between North and South Korea. This zone would not include international or U.S. peacekeeping forces. Ukraine would not be required to recognize territories taken by Russia. Russia would not return occupied territories either. Each would retain what they currently control. Ukraine would not join NATO for at least 20 years, a key concession to Russia. Although Ukraine would no longer receive weaponry, it could obtain security measures agreed upon by Russia, the United States and Ukraine. Russia would demand guarantees such as the non-proliferation of nuclear weapons in Ukraine and the withdrawal of Ukrainian troops from Kursk. Both sides would release all prisoners and recover the bodies of combatants as a symbol of reconciliation. While this plan could immediately halt the bloodshed, it presents significant challenges. For Ukraine it could be perceived as a defeat, relinquishing its territorial aspirations and NATO membership. For NATO, reduced US support could destabilize the alliance and shift the balance of power in Europe. For the United States it would reduce the enormous military spending on Ukraine 
but could undermine its position as a global leader. Additionally, Trump would seek to leverage this context to boost U.S. energy and oil exports to Europe, solidifying economic influence in the region. Although ambitious, this scenario is not without risks and geopolitical challenges. In this video, we will analyze how Zelensky, Putin and NATO allies might react to these proposals and assess how feasible it is for Trump to turn this framework into reality. Peace, or a new balance of power? Join us to break down this controversial plan and its potential global impact. How would the war in Ukraine be resolved? The stance of Putin, Zelensky, and Trump's crucial role. Since the conflict began, the war in Ukraine has been a test of strategic endurance, not only for the nations directly involved but also for global leaders. Now, with Donald Trump as a central figure in the proposed peace plan, the interests of Vladimir Putin and Volodymyr Zelensky clash with those of the United States, creating a complex and uncertain scenario. Trump has suggested a shift in the strategy of supporting Ukraine. Instead of continuing direct economic and military aid, he proposes that the U.S. act as a lender, financing Ukraine's military and reconstruction needs, with possible repayments in natural resources. This approach aims to address domestic criticism of U.S. spending on Ukraine while economically weakening Russia and Iran by increasing U.S. energy exports. The Russian leader has a clear list of demands that he is unwilling to negotiate under any circumstances. For Russia, Ukraine's entry into NATO represents a direct threat on its borders, a key trigger of the conflict. Crimea, much of southern Ukraine and the Donbas are gains that Putin will not relinquish. Losing them would be a fatal blow to his political legitimacy after the high human and military costs incurred to conquer them. A solution akin to the Korean border could be acceptable to Putin, as it would consolidate territorial advances without relinquishing control. Russia will not tolerate Ukraine developing nuclear capabilities due to the potential impact on regional security. These demands reflect Putin's inflexible stance, rooted in historical lessons since the dissolution of the Soviet Union and the failure of Western guarantees. Meanwhile, Volodymyr Zelensky faces one of the greatest leadership challenges in modern history. Three key factors limit his ability to negotiate. Without U.S. and Allied support, Ukraine could not sustain its defense against Russia. With a significantly smaller population, Ukraine suffers continuous losses of soldiers and resources, reducing its chances of long-term success. Zelensky has made it clear that he will not cede a single inch of territory, complicating any solution based on territorial compromise. While Trump's plan promises to halt the conflict through negotiations, demilitarize zones and security guarantees, it faces significant obstacles. Will Zelensky and Putin accept a deal that challenges their fundamental principles? How will this affect NATO and the balance of power in Europe? Is it economically feasible for Ukraine to adopt a loan-based model? Volodymyr Zelensky has two primary goals to ensure Ukraine's long-term security, joining NATO. This would trigger Article 5, providing Ukraine with military protection from the alliance's 32 member states, developing nuclear capabilities. Although riskier, Zelensky sees this as a deterrent against future Russian aggression. However, these objectives face significant barriers. NATO membership could heighten tensions with Russia, while developing nuclear weapons would violate international agreements like the 1994 Budapest Memorandum. The role of U.S. support indispensable? Currently, the United States provides 43% of all military aid to Ukraine, a critical figure in this war of attrition. Without this support, Ukraine would rely solely on the European Union and allies like the United Kingdom, Canada, and Norway. While these countries already cover 40 to 45 percent of military aid, fully replacing U.S. support would be an immense challenge due to financial and political constraints. Additionally, a prolonged war could deplete European allies' resources, creating an unsustainable situation. Without weapons, even Ukraine's strongest resolve wouldn't suffice to maintain its defense. What would Trump do if Putin rejects his peace plan? If Putin rejects Trump's proposals, the former president reportedly has an alternative plan, according to a June 2024 leak. This plan would involve arming Ukraine to the teeth indefinitely, intensifying the war of attrition against Russia. This strategy would have multiple objectives, undermine Russia's military capacity in the long term, maintain pressure on Moscow to force negotiations under unfavorable conditions for Putin, 
minimize domestic political fallout in the U.S. by framing support as a response to Russian intransigence. Even a slight change in the stance of Trump, Putin, Zelensky, or the European Union could radically alter the scenario. The EU finds itself at a critical juncture. Increasing its support for Ukraine could challenge its own economic limits, but also strengthen its role as a united power against Russia. This is a puzzle where every move affects not only the direct players but also the entire global geopolitical structure. Time will tell whether Trump can turn this ambitious plan into reality, or if the conflict in Ukraine will remain an open wound in international politics. In this video, we'll deeply analyze how these proposals impact each leader, their strategic viability, and the potential repercussions for the world's future. Intrepid time travelers, join me in this analysis to understand what lies ahead in this complex war and how close we are to an outcome. Hello, Time Voyagers friends. If you enjoyed the content, please take a moment to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Your support means the world to us and helps us continue creating exciting videos. Don't forget to follow us on our social media channels, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We genuinely welcome your comments and love hearing your thoughts. A big hug to all our followers and a heartfelt thank you to our troops and officials for their invaluable support. We appreciate you being here.